Golden Horn Diaries. If you are one of those travelers who like to take in the whole city at once and gaze upon it from a bird's eye view, then you probably know this saying well. If you stay in a place for more than two days, you begin to become a local. Today is my third day in Istanbul. I'm watching the sun rise over the Golden Horn from a window at the Hilton Garden Inn, Istanbul. Right in front of me are seagulls flying, fishermen sailing out to the tranquil waters, people taking their morning walk along the shore, and gorgeous city views as far as the eye can see. Somehow, it feels like they have all been in my life for a very long time. As I say good morning to the mythical Golden Horn for the last time, my last 48 hours in this city flash before my eyes, and my mind goes back to the first day I set foot in Istanbul. This is not my first time in this city. In fact, I can even say that I know Istanbul pretty well, the good and the bad. Having stayed at various hotels near the crowded business districts of Levant and Maslak, I can't say I was surprised when all my colleagues asked me, why the Golden Horn, as they greeted me. I guess I've gotten to know this special place even better than Istanbulites. The Golden Horn, a natural harbor, was formed by the Sea of Marmara flooding into a riverbed where their currents meet and create an estuary. It is a rarely encountered miracle of nature. Having been a home to the Genoese, Venetian, Byzantine, Latin and Ottoman people, this coastline was at one time the focal point of all other continents. It was the center of commerce, culture, and social life. While I tell you, who wouldn't be happy to be breathing on this very piece of land, just like I told my friends, I also feel the need to point something out. The Golden Horn is changing. The area is reforming in a way that fits in perfectly with its legacy of millenniums. Today, situated side by side along the coastline, where the Hilton Garden in Istanbul is also located, are one of Europe's biggest industrial museums. A culture center that can host tens of thousands at once, three universities, the world's largest miniature park in respect to its model area, and the biggest historical archive building on two continents. As I satisfy your curiosity, here comes another question of why, this time from me. Why would I prefer any other place when I'm right where the old city transforms into a new one, where all the main arteries of Istanbul are just minutes away, whether by sea or by land? Running on the coastline that I call the Riviera of Istanbul before breakfast, Holding all of Turkey inside the palm of my hand at Miniaturk at lunch, sipping a glass of wine at the Rami Koch Industrial Museum late in the afternoon, starting the night at Santral, bypassing all the traffic by getting a water taxi, and then diving into the busy nightlife of Ortaköy. Getting to Besiktas and Maslak in just a few minutes during business hours with a newly opened tunnel, bringing the two sides of Istanbul close together with the boat my company sent me. Taking part in the presentations held at the Haliç Convention Center, which is just within walking distance. They say each has his own city within a city. And so, this is the real golden horn for me. This is the way I see this city. Right beside me is the Ayup neighborhood Pierre Lotti fell in love with. Next to it, the Galata Bridge that was first envisioned by Leonardo da Vinci, and then Taksim, the favorite place of millions. Rising on my other side are the towers of Maslak, Levant, and many more. In this airy open space, I can almost reach out and touch each of them. You can feel Istanbul breathe at the Golden Horn, and I feel I am truly alive. I don't know where you are at the moment or from where you are listening to my story. Maybe you are very close by and I am looking at you from my window. Maybe you are at Pierre Lotti Hill or right in the middle of the Galata Bridge or in the heart of the city, Taksim. Or maybe you are at one of the towers at Maslak gazing upon me from afar. Wherever you might be, I, a foreigner turned local, am inviting you Istanbulites to rediscover your old city. At this exceptional place growing more valuable with each passing day, would you perhaps care to join me?